Firefighters are always training, but one local department sessions proved very timely. As Local 12's Joe Webb reports live, Covington firefighters had to deal with two major problems this weekend, right on the heels of some hands-on training. Joe. Well, Paula, this burned out home on Edgecliff in Covington is where firefighters ended their 24 hour shift early Saturday morning. What they did here and earlier in the day in Latonia is exactly what they trained on when they started their shift Friday morning. There is no fire in this back section of the old Colonial Motel in Covington. It's scheduled for demolition, so Covington firefighters were training there today. Cutting ventilation holes in the roof. These same guys were on duty Friday, which was a full day of firefighting. A couple of fires, stayed busy all day, had uh, quite a few emergencies, plus we were up here training all morning long, so we've been doing that pretty much every day. So it was pretty much from 8 a.m. until what time we get back, 5.36 the next morning, we were out running. Friday, the training in the old motel was running hoses, and that training got a real-time test that afternoon when a unit at Latonia Terrace went up in flames. It was the same challenge firefighters faced at 3 a.m. when they answered the call on Edgecliff. A quick response knocked the fire down and allowed firefighters to rescue the resident, overcome by smoke, unconscious in the room where the fire started. This was the case where we were told by the police officers on scene, he's probably in there, he doesn't move very well, so they put everybody to work to try to find him and get him out. On my way back out into the fire area within a few feet, I took my light and scanned the area and that's what I located him. We pointed him out that he was there and everybody in the, in the building was involved in trying to get him down to the ambulance and off to the hospital. Now the person suffered life-threatening burns. We have reached out to the fire victim's family today and to neighbors. Check on his condition. Haven't heard back from them yet. Reporting live in Covington, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Paula? All right, thank you, Joe. Firefighters are still looking for a cause of both of those fires.